Praise the Lord, Instagram TV. My name is Sean Henry Scott Singer. Today is our Midweek Miracle Sermon Teaching. Midweek Miracle. In our ministry, Hand of God Live, we come before you two times on the internet. Once on the Midweek Miracle, which is today, and again on the Sabbath, or vice versa, on the Sabbath, and then on the Midweek Miracle. And uh, in our ministry, uh, we preach and teach from the King James Version of the Bible. That's just what we do. Today is 11-7-2018, and we are currently in Wellington, Florida, uh, doing what we God would have us do. And today we'll be speaking on a subject for this uh, 10 minutes that Instagram TV gives us on, we'll be speaking on who chose who. Who chose who? It is so important in this day, in this time, in this age, in this present climate that we're living in, that we never lose confidence in the fact that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ chose us. That that takes away the pressure of not being loved, or not being cared about, or having any form of insecurities in this world that we live in. If we would grasp hold of this understanding from the word of the living God and, and just know and believe beyond the shadow of a doubt that number one, God wanted us here, Number two, he has a purpose, reason, and season for our lives. And number three, that we can have everything that the word of the living God says we can have. If we can grab holes of them, there, no form of insecurity would ever be set to us. So we need to understand that God chose us. We did not choose him. And how do we know this? Because the word of the living God says so. I have a couple of scriptures we're going to go into. Let us pray real quick. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for the, yet another opportunity to be in the land of the living. Thank and praise you, Father God, for this platform through Instagram TV to share the word of the living God. I pray that in the name of Jesus, Father God, it falls in the hands or the laps or in the minds of somebody who needs it. <clears throat> this world has all kinds of things that people can be fat shamed, black shamed, white shamed. Everybody's just shamed. But the Bible lets us know that we're to study to show ourselves approved a workman that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. When we, when we know what your word says, Father God, and our creator created us, we don't have to be ashamed of anything. I thank you for this opportunity. Let your words in my mouth, meditation in my heart be pleasing in your sight. In Jesus Christ, now we pray. Amen. Like I said, there's a couple of places in the scriptures I want to share with you in a short time. The gospel according to John, uh, chapter 15 and 16 says, You or ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. So the scripture makes it clear in the gospel, according to John chapter 15 and verse 16, that we did not choose God. And, and, and it's obvious because over 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. And we wasn't even born or thought of. Our parents wasn't born. Our grandparents wasn't born. Our great-grandparents wasn't born. So God put all those things into effect that we could come forth. There have been so many times I've been out in the street preaching and sharing the gospel to the homeless or whoever. And for some reason or another, they got fixed in their mind that they're an accident. That they didn't, that they did they wasn't supposed to be here. Um, that there, it was just happenstance or circumstances that they was born into creation. Let me tell you something, folks and beloved. God is sovereign. He is ruler over everything. There's not one part or piece of creation that he's not in completely and 100% control of. He knows all. He sees all. So we need to dispel with the facts that we were any form of an accident. God brought us here. He created us. And I want you to turn back. We're going to go back in history where God chose um, a holy people. So out of all the people of the earth, he, he chose a people. Once again, we will see that who chose who, that we didn't choose God. God chose us. Now, we accept him. I'm going to get into that before we close. In Deuteronomy 6, it says, For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Verse 7, the Lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you because you were more in number than any people for ye were the fewest of all people but because the Lord loved you and because he would keep 
the oath which he has sworn unto your fathers, hath the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of the bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh of Egypt. So even from the beginning, God chose a people for himself. And he makes it clear he didn't choose you because you were smart, strong, better looking, any of that stuff. So, so often people are insecure about their physical attributes or the fact that they don't have uh, PhDs or, or diplomas or all these different things. Let me tell you something. He said he chose you because you was the fewest of all people. You were, you were the least in the number. He chose the least, and, and you, you may be thinking, why would God do that? Why wouldn't God choose the strongest to represent him? Why wouldn't he choose uh, the smartest or the wealthiest on the earth to represent him? Because he wanted to show his glory through something that had nothing, the fewest. It, he, 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 by, by, by them seeing that we were the least or were the, were the fewest, he could reveal his glory through us. And, and I, I can testify all day long about how inadequate I am and unqualified to do a lot of things in this earth and in this world. And you got to understand that they, they have created rules and reasons for things to be a certain way so they can stay in control. I mean, I don't have the time to really get into it, but colleges, degrees, diplomas, uh, systems, governments, these things were set up by man to oppress man. And the Bible makes it clear that he says um, in verse 8, because, but because the Lord loved you and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto the fathers, you need to know that oath, have the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of the bondmen. So we were redeemed by the blood of the Lamb of Jesus Christ. So we need to realize that this was the plan of salvation from the beginning. When, when Adam and Eve fell... And God had a plan to reconcile man into himself. He knew all the insecurities and the things that men would have. That's why the Bible makes it clear that we're not to put no confidence in man. The only confidence man has within himself is the things that man create. And the world creates things to control you. And we was redeemed from that bond uh, of control. Because men will create a system and say you have to jump through A, B, C, X, Y, Z in order to make it through their system. Now, you can be smart. You can be literate. But it, according to their system, if you're not, they won't let you go through. They create ways to control you. The Spirit of the Lord gave me that last night when I was preparing for this. Is that the world will create systems, rules, regulations, and things to control you. But our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ has set us free. And we have to understand a, a big part of that freedom is understanding that we did not choose him. He chose us. We have a little bit more time here. There's another scripture that I don't have in my notes, but I do want to share uh, in case somebody don't read their Bible to help them understand why they should read their Bible. Because no matter who you are, or where you are in your life or your walk on this process and this journey, our God gave us the Bible. And the Bible gives us a blessed assurance of the things that God said to his people. In Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 4, Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou comest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. <clears throat> so once again, God is reinforcing and reaffirming the fact that he was before everything else. We did not choose him. We accepted him after he chose us. I just pray that wherever you are in this process, this journey, that God is blessing you and you're being blessed with the understanding and knowledge of who Jesus Christ was, is, and is to come. Because in that is your freedom. May God bless you and heaven's face continually and always smile upon you.